Now, if you've been using Mercedes Me, then you've probably heard of the Mercedes Me app, but did you know there's a ton of features on there? So in this video today, I'm gonna to run through all the different things you can do on the Mercedes Me app and some of the hidden ones as well. But we're talking things like unlocking and locking your car remotely to tracking it on a map, operating on windows and sunroof, and even completely disabling the key to prevent thefts. Now, as always, guys, this does vary from model to model, so not everything you see in today's video will be compatible with every model of Mercedes, but it'll give you an idea as to what is on offer on Mercedes Me. You can check yourself on the Mercedes Me app. Just head over to the Managed Services section or go onto the Digital Extra section on the Mercedes Benz website, and that will list everything that your car can do. And of course, a lot of the things are a paid for thing on Mercedes Me, so double check in the Mercedes Me store for the exact prices for your car. Now guys, of course, if you haven't got your car linked to your Mercedes Me account, uh, you can actually link it yourself by going onto the multimedia system if you have MBUX and scanning the QR code, but you can only do this if it's not currently linked to someone's account. So if you've bought like used or something like that from somewhere, uh, then you may have to contact your local Mercedes to get it linked. It only takes two minutes though, so it doesn't take very long. So let's have a look at the Mercedes Me app. So. Uh, for this example, I've got this lovely SL43 just behind me here, thanks to Mercedes Paul. So let's load up the app and show you exactly what you can do. So here it is on screen. So as you can see, you've got these kind of like floating white icons just at the top here. So you've got like vehicle status, lock status, windows, trip data, vehicle search, that sort of thing. But if you go into more, this will show you virtually everything that you can do on the app on Mercedes Me. So let's go through them. So basically on vehicle status, here you can see basically all the kind of uh, lock status, windows, roof. If you have a sunroof, then of course it will show this as well. And from here you can lock all the doors and close all the windows. And if you have a sunroof, you can do it from there as well. What is quite clever, have a look in the middle, it actually shows rain sensor monitoring active. So they are quite clever, some uh, Mercedes-Benz cars, that if you have like a sunroof, for example, that if um, it starts raining, the sunroof will actually close. And I have tested this on another video before, and I can confirm it does work, so it's quite clever. So after this, we have um, a couple of individual icons for the uh, actual doors and the windows. So in here, you can go to lock and unlock, just like that, and literally swipe, and it'll send a command through to the car to lock it. Uh, same for the windows, and of course, same for the sunroof as well. So after this, you then have trip data. So in here, this will show you all of the kind of trip information. Now this is exactly the same as what you would see in the car itself. So you've got your, from start readings, from reset readings, and of course, uh, range and total mileage and that sort of thing. Of course, if you have an electric car, then it will show all the charge status as well. So it'll be a separate tab. Uh, after this, we have vehicle search. So vehicle search is quite clever. It will show you the car's location on the map. But on this tab, there's quite a clever thing. So if it's like dark, for example, and you can't find your car and you have, well, like a black car, you can actually flash the headlights and get the lights to come on all by themselves, just like that. So clever what was Eddie's Benz think of. Um, of course, you can share this location to like um, uh, Google Maps or Apple Maps and get directions to it as well, just in case you have lost your car. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's what vehicle search does. It's also the same as the bottom right hand corner with that kind of location symbol on the app. So uh, yeah. Right, let's have a look at more. So this shows you all of the extra things you can do on Mercedes Me. Now I should add, what we have just gone through there is the favorite section at the top. And if you notice there, you can hold and drag the icons to arrange your favorites. So if for example, you always liked looking at, I don't know, the service menu, hold your finger on that and you can actually move it up onto the top bit, which then means it's on the home screen. So you can choose what those icons are on the, uh, on the home screen there, just like that. Speaking of service, of course, if you go in here, you can see loads of information from when the car's due for a service to if the 12 volt battery's charged. Uh, of course, if you have an EV, it'll show you that status in there as well. Brake fluid, coolant, washer fluid, all the usual things. Of course, if anything isn't right, uh, the car can actually send notifications through to keep you informed as to what's going on. Uh, after this, we have geofencing. Now, geofencing is quite clever, actually, because um, I can think of one use case. Say, for example, if you go away on holiday and you've paid for um, some airport car parking, uh, you know where you kind of like uh, have to give your keys to the person, to the valet parking, and then you 
well, if you own a Mercedes, you reluctantly have to give them the keys. Um, what you can do is actually set an area. So say, for example, this was an airport here. You can set an area that if your car leaves this area here, you'll get a notification. So if you tap next, you can say, ah, oh, right, if it leaves this area, exits the zone, I want the notification when my car leaves. And then you can ring them up and question them why they're doing it. <laughs> but that's what geofence is. Could be quite useful as well if you go away on holiday or something. You could put it uh, for a geofence if you leave your car at home on your driveway. Just put a little uh, ring around it. So that means if your car moves, you'll get a notification. So um, pretty cool. Uh, after this one, there's over the uh, vehicle updates. So yes, if there are any uh, updates available for the car, they will come through automatically. So as you can see, here, there's uh, one there, software update for the communication module. These things just come through automatically, which is uh, quite clever, as long as you've got it all enabled. Um, this is also where the sat-nav updates come through as well. So you can clearly see when they've been updated. Although typically it is about three, four times a year that I've, I've seen on most Mercedes-Benz cars. Uh, next one is tyre pressure. Well, this one speaks for itself. It basically shows you all the tyre pressures. The reason why this will say unknown at the moment is because this car is in the showroom and has not um, been driven around. So the tyres haven't spun round. Um, that's when it can get a measurement. So um, it's probably been in here for a little while. So that's why it says unknown. But obviously check on yours and it'll show you the correct readings. You can actually change from KPA to bar to PSI as well on the settings app on Mercedes Me, just in case you want to change it. Uh, next one across is vehicle settings. This allows you to change a few settings on the car. Now, you will have a few more here if you have set up a profile, and obviously this is a, uh, a brand new car from the looks of it, so um, it won't be registered or anything. So basically, if you have a profile on the car, then you have a few more listed here that you can change for your own profile. So um, that's uh, obviously pretty good. Uh, next one is eco display so this will show you uh, basically how you're driving so on here you've basically got uh, top left is how much you press the accelerator pedal uh, top right there is how much you let the car roll to a stop and then the uh, one with the scales there is a balance uh, between those two so you can see a bit of information there if you wanted to uh, kind of maximize how far you can drive particularly useful for evs and uh, plug-in hybrids just to get the max range on those types of cars. Uh, after this, you've got vehicle displays. Again, if you have a profile set up, you can uh, change the theme and that sort of thing. But obviously, as this is new, this has only got the date and time on here at the moment, which of course be automatic. Uh, then you've got light settings. Now I know everyone always loves this. You can change all the colors on here, which is pretty cool. Again, all these things you can do in the car. It's just um, nice that you can do it uh, from the app, you know, just in case that you uh, were sat at home and wanted to have it ready for the next time you drive your car. Uh, then you've got interior and exterior lights, so you can set timers for how long they go on and off. Again, you can do this in the car as well, so all very easy. Uh, valet protects, um, I don't think it's something that many people use, to be honest, in the UK. It might be more um, used in um, kind of other countries, but similar to geofencing, you can basically have it so when the car leaves a certain area or when your ignition is switched on or switched off, so you can be notified when someone is moving your car. So if you left it with um, hotel valet parking or something like that, then they can, um, you can get notifications through uh, to your phone, as long as you've got them enabled. Uh, vehicle alarm, now this is quite clever. If the alarm is set off uh, on the car, then you'll get a notification through as well. So on here, you can turn the alarm off as well. These will all be greyed out because the car is unlocked at the moment. But um, yes, if you get any uh, alerts come through, you can see that on here and you get a push notification through on your phone just so you can take action straight away and find out who's, uh, who's doing something to your car. Now, if you do loan your car to someone, so friends or family or someone like that, you can set speed alerts. So this doesn't actually limit the speed of the car, but you can set a, um, a speed alert. So say, for example, the uh, max speed you can legally travel in the UK is 70 miles an hour. You can set a speed alert on there and basically get a notification every time someone exceeds that uh, speed. It doesn't do anything in the car. It literally just notifies you as a driver. So you can do anything from 20 all the way up to 150, just for your information. Uh, route settings, this will be basically sat-nav settings. Uh, I do have dedicated videos on sat-nav settings, so if you do want to check those out, click on the pop-up banner up above. But of course, there's a few settings in here you can change 
on Mercedes Me. Um, now, digital key handover. Now, I would like to make a video on this actually because um, I've noticed a few cars do have this. It's basically a way of sharing your car with your friends or family without physically giving them the key. So you, you basically, in a nutshell, can turn one of your keys off and it stays in the car and you remotely turn it on and off when they're by the car. So you remotely give them access to the car. So guys, let me know if you want me to cover that uh, in the future. I can add that to the list of suggestions that you guys always give me in the comment section. And uh, yeah, I might be able to make a video on that one if you guys want to see it. Uh, stolen vehicle help. Now, I have read about this, but I have, of course, not pressed the button because I'm sure uh, Mercedes-Benz here would not appreciate me um, reporting that car was stolen because it's, of course, in safe hands at the moment. But uh, yes, on some cars and available as an extra, you can buy a thing called um, uh, stolen vehicle help. Now, I believe what this does is if I did tap that button, which I'm not going to do for clarification, uh, you can report your car as stolen. So this is particularly useful just in case. Um, I will add you have to have bought this Mercedes Me service and it has to have been running for a month before you can use it. So you cannot buy this service after an event has happened. Um, you have to kind of have this set up in advance. But um, I'm guessing it's like a one-stop shop kind of just button to access um, and send information through to the relevant people who can hopefully get your car back. So uh, particularly useful on that one. Sort of a bit like a tracker. I believe when you do turn that on though, it transmits everything to Mercedes Me support and then they can um, take over and liaise with the police and that sort of thing. So it might be quite useful if you have, um, well, a nice car. Now, emergency key deactivation. This is quite cool, actually. Now, obviously, it comes up with a warning message when you go onto this. In a nutshell, you can turn off your keys uh, for the car. So, say, for example, you, I don't know, went to the gym or something like that, and you realise you lost your keys and you just didn't know where they were, or throughout the day you just lost them at an airport or something like that. What you can do for safety and as a precaution, you can actually just turn your keys off. And you can do this temporarily, of course, if you've just gone here, deactivate all the keys. This will just literally stop the keys from working. So uh, if anyone has the keys, they can't unlock the car, they can't lock it, they can't open the boot. Keyless doesn't work or anything like that until you turn it off. So uh, that's pretty good to see, of course, with all these security and things like that. Mercedes-Benz just taking things to an extra level. Now guys, if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to check out my tips and tricks playlist right here, as this one's gonna take you to every single tip and trick that I've made on the Mercedes-Benz. As always guys, huge shout out to Sandown Mercedes as they help provide access to all these awesome cars you see in the videos. Until next week, thank you so much for watching. See you then.